I do see the conflict with Gucci Man going to speak to kids. But my kid would have stayed home that day. Straight yeah. up. But I think it's still a good thing that he's doing though. Oh, I, because at least he's depending on you the and, and obviously he has to have a positive message, right? To these kids. He ha don't judge. I'm not if you going if he's going to speak to kids, he's not gonna go in there talking about, you know, go put a tattoo on your face and shit like that. He's going to probably say, yo, kids, you need to do X, Y, and Z, and blah, 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 blah. But that's like a positive speaker coming and saying, hey, don't do drugs, you know, just stay clean, da, da, and then you up in there, right. up there just going crazy. Right. They seeing you on TV right. or in the music right. videos that's the going crazy. I agree with and I, what's, what's up I, with that? And I see where you're coming from, but at the same time, there's the music and the art, and then there's the, there, and then there's the where you can separate that no, out. Put yourself in a kid's. No, I agree with Ken. No, you're, you're, you know, no, I agree with Ken too uh, from an adult standpoint. Yeah, this, put yourself in the mind of a child. Oh, you had that. That, age, that yeah. speech is gonna last for the duration of that speech. That and then too. after this, you're gonna go right back to listening to his music. Now, which one are you gonna remember more? The speech where he said, stay in school, don't do drugs? Or are you gonna remember his albums where he's saying, fuck school, do drugs? But at least, at least, at least, you, have, at least you have something to, to conflict at that point. You, you have saying? some good will. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, come on, man. Come come on, kids not no, I'm just saying, at least you do have that at You least. do have that, but you, that only lasts for a very yeah. short period People of time. Not, his, him, his, his albums are eternal. Uh, if Spice I would have came and talked in my in my school. I would have been like, okay, yeah, cool, Spice One, yeah, right. stay in school. The trick it got no heart. Running on the crack just, house, but Spice the crack also house, just, running. <laughs> walk past crack house, school and shit. But then Spice One just tell you that that's just music. Don't take it as right. fact. You're a child, Ken. As a kid, you're a kid. I, I'm a but kid. but it helps though. Right. But it helps. Oh, it helps. Yeah, it but as a kid, helps, I'm gonna be amazed. But after that, I'm going right back. I'd rather put him to make an attempt, trying trying to do the right thing, and not doing anything at all. I mean, no, no, I do agree with you with that. Something is better than nothing. But at the same time. You're not really helping situations because all you're doing is you're giving an hour-long speech, but your albums are still there. Yep. And as and a child, I'm going to remember thing. your music before right. I, remember I remember that, that speech. speech. I spoke with. Yeah, yeah. it Urban was Church. definitely. So say, let's assume it was Urban Kids, and then that's messed up. Okay, so let's assume that Gucci was talking about was talking to Urban Kids. If you're talking to Urban Kids that see drug dealers every day, that see crack houses <coughs> every day, that see people getting shot at every day. Then you hear that shit in the music of a man that's in front of your class with an ice cream cone on his face. Now, not clowning, I'm just saying. But this is a man that's in front of your class with an ice cream cone on his face, and his music talks about all these things that you see, and then he's telling you, oh, that's not reality. I'm just, I'm just making entertainment. You really think that, I'm not even gonna say a six-year-old, I'm talking about a 13-year-old. You really think a 13 year old is gonna look at Gucci and say, you know what, Gucci's telling the truth? No, they're gonna say, no, he's really in that life, but he has to do this for some reason. Or he's or he's posturing to us because we're kids. They're not gonna believe him. So what's the difference or, between like an inmate coming to school talking to kids? A what? An inmate coming to school talking to kids. What do you mean? Like you know how the guys in prison come to school talk to kids? Y'all never had because, because inmate? Oh, an inmate? I mean, I mean not inmate, but like, you know, yeah. You know, just, I feel yeah. like an, an ex-con. Right, yeah, just Because an it's an ex. The con is not currently, or you can't, you can't, uh, you can assume he is, but you don't know for a fact. Right. Now, if the con was going around the town and telling everybody that he's shooting people still, and then comes to your school and says, don't murder people, don't murder people yeah. it's the they same fucking thing. Guns. But no, that's, same just, that's the same situation with, with, the, with the rappers. They said, you know, exactly. Jay-Z have said, said you know, this is what I did to get to this point. You don't have to do what I did. That's what they're coming. That's the, the message that they're but, saying. But is Jay Z still different. talking about that? Yeah, exactly. Jay Z. He's different. not. He's not a good because that's what came through my head, and I'm like, Jay Z doesn't apply in this situation because Jay Z has completely left that alone. He doesn't rap about that anymore. And you can look at that, and you can tell he ain't really about that life no Blueprint more. Yeah. But yeah. but look yeah. at look at Gucci. These kids these kids are not as 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 dumb as as it sounds like some people are giving or you know, are making them out to be. You can look at the situation and you can say, oh, Gucci's saying I don't do this stuff anymore, but then how long ago did he kill somebody? 
That was what, two, three years ago, right? Did he? Was it even sooner than that? Oh, attempted know, murder. Was yeah, attempted yeah, murder? Yeah, something like that. Come something on. And, and then the thing he did then, with the chick that he pushed her out the car. Like, he right. lived. He still like does yeah. these things. Yeah. Do the kids so, actually know that, though? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's public knowledge. It's public knowledge. These kids know this shit. Right. So you can't tell me that he's helping situations by doing all this stuff in real life. Why can they just and look at him like a hypocrite then? They will. That's the point, but bro. The thing is, but the thing is, that's the point. They will look at him as a hypocrite. It all depends on. Again, it all depends on who you're speaking to because, like what you were saying, little, if you're if you're talking to like second, third graders, they're not gonna think like yeah. that. They're not. They probably don't even yeah, know what the fuck they're doing. Goes, 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 goes back to Mike. It goes back to Mike. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're gonna when say, "Oh, kid. he doesn't do that." Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right. And the song comes back on. Oh, he does do that. Right. Right. As a, as a, as a so, seven so year old, my okay, thing is, okay, okay, so, so, job. So though. as that seven year old gets older, I, you know. Can, does his mentality change at all, or do you think that he stays in that same? I, it, 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 it all goes back to what B was saying I, because then it comes down to parenting, right? Because right. then if you're, if let's just for example, if your kid comes home from school and it's like, oh, we met Gucci Man today, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh shit, you're gonna fuck his pants because you, you, he said it. He's like, I'll leave my kid at home. I definitely would have left my. You know kid. what I'm saying? But if your kid just comes home and it's like, oh shit, you know, we met Gucci Man at school today, what are you gonna say? What did he talk about? That's, my, that's exactly first my thing first thing. Goes at, what did he talk about? What did he, what tell, did he you? tell you? He <laughs> talked about how he only makes this music for entertainment. Right. I'm going to tell my kid, okay, cool. You should believe that. But, but first of all, my kid wouldn't be listening to Gucci Mane anyway. Exactly. But like, 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 like this all goes back, like M said, you know, don't blame me because little Eric jumped off the terrace. Right. You should have been watching him. Apparently, you ain't parents. Right. That go, that that's they're gonna precisely blame him anyway, huh? But they're gonna blame him anyway. But that's what I'm saying. That goes back to B's point. You can't blame somebody else for doing something when you as an adult should have been paying attention. I would have known prior that Gucci Mane was coming to speak at school. Yep. My kid would not have been in that room. Oh, because the God. last thing I want my kid seeing is, first of all, I don't want my kid seeing a dude walking in school with an ice cream cone tattooed on his face. They see, they see it every day anyway. But they don't I have know, but they don't need to see him at school. They can see him, they can see him when I'm when I have no control over it. And the thing is, nah, man, and like, the thing is, nah, and the thing is, and the thing is even like if children your kid, even I, if, you but are. The thing is, if I am, but it's Gucci Mane. I don't need Gucci Mane coming to tell my kid shit. All right. Take Gucci I don't need it. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, if a random fucking, if a, if he goes to the school and a random kid doesn't know who he is, he's automatically gonna be like, okay, well, he's a celebrity. This is what he looks like. He's telling me to do this, but he's already gonna be like a role model to them. So they're gonna follow that. But I like the point that you made, like the, the fact that they came to school and they're gonna come back to the to, to home, telling the parents like. Oh, well, we met Gucci Man today. Yo, what did he talk about? Oh, he talked about this. Well, yeah, that's what you need. Like, the stuff you hear on the radio, that's not necessarily it's what... It's a coaching tip. It's a it's coaching a tip. It, it gives you an opportunity to open up that dialogue with your child. But or you can do it anyway. If you're a parent, you should already be doing you it. You can. Right. It does not you take, can, but that's it just validation. Take Gucci Mane to, I get to that. bring that shit up. And I'm not if, saying if, that it does. Right. Saying, but what, what, it is, what it does do is, is validate and give you an extra, yeah, what you've been saying. See, well, I, see, this is I what I've been telling you. It is, it is entertainment, and it is that. See, so he came to your school and said that. So now you, you can just. Um, I mean, I just but then that makes a, you. It, 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 but then that makes you look stupid because then your kid goes and sees Gucci Mane throwing people out of a car and killing people, and then they come back and they say, "But Daddy, I thought you said there was just entertainment, but he just but when, killed when somebody." You, when do you see that though? It's on the news, or maybe he goes to school and one of his friends tells well, him. Oh, did you hear that? Did you, you hear that? Did you hear that Gucci Mane threw somebody out of the car last week? Well, that could be anyone. anyone. So that that could be, be, no, but that's ask. the whole point, Rod. You're saying that that opens up dialogue. I'm gonna keep cutting you off, but I'm saying you keep saying that 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 that's gonna open up dialogue, but at the same time. That, that, you, that, that, this little kid's gonna come back to you and go off what you said. Yes, yeah, son, Gucci Man is telling you the truth. That is just entertainment. He doesn't really do that. But then he goes and hears from one of his friends that Gucci Man just shot somebody. Right. Then he's coming back to you and be like, Daddy, you told me that that wasn't true. Right. And then it goes back it's to bad. B. Right. <laughs> With the parents. Exactly. There you go. Right. So it's like, okay, say you talk to that. If they, your kids say, hey, um, I, I, the Gucci Man. And then you tell them, yeah, that's the difference, blase, blase. Right. They still do that. Or whatever. Who, who, who do you blame? And my thing is, is even if even if he does do that after that, after who do you blame? Just entertainment. Well, I would tell him, well, you don't need to be doing that shit. Period. Who do you blame? That's, that's Gucci man. That's the lifestyle he lives. But that does give me an opportunity to open up that. But you already said though, Rob. Yeah. But no, but I'm saying, but it opens up dialogue. Either but way. it makes you sound bad because me, you no, first said yes, it does because you first said that he doesn't do that. And then when Gucci man does it, you take your words back. Okay, if I had to take my words back, that's life. That, that's that's that's. 
I mean, anybody can change. Let me ask you, you they are. Would you feel some type of way with Chris Brown talking to your daughter at school about domestic violence? There you go. No, I know. I'm just being honest. Like, no, no, fuck that. Let him finish. Would you be comfortable with that? If he said, if he said himself that it was a mistake and all this, I, I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was in, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, did I it, you know what I'm saying? And, and it was a mistake and you know, you shouldn't do that. Who, who better else is it to, to, to say that? Then did Chris Brown. The person, I mean, yeah, you and and hearing it from a celebrity, right. which at some point as kids they're gonna kind of look up to anyway. Go back and beat up Rihanna again. But, but see, that's not my fault. <laughs> but, but that's my thing. I'm just but saying, that's like, my what thing. Would you, what would you, but see, that's, that's my thing. I can't, I can't control that. Yeah, I can't right. control that. Yeah. So yeah, if he proves me wrong, hey, whatever. I mean, yeah, that I can't control him. that. That, that was, was him. him. So, so yeah, what you at the end of the day, just don't follow that. I'm not gonna back up any of that shit. I'd rather take my shit out of the situation. I'm backing up the words that they said at the at the Exactly, but those words you end up eating them, Rod. Okay, but. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that's exactly what I say. Yeah, he he said that, but you know, he may go out and do it again. Who who knows? But I, I can just add that into my conversation. All I'm right. saying is that that adds dialogue. But that's Chris Brown. I'm going back to Gucci. Gucci is still currently doing these things. Is currently. he really currently? Yes. Doing it? How long ago did he throw that chick out the car? No, he just spoke to the kids last oh week, though. Right. And the, the situation that he brought up with. And he just, and he he just went on Breakfast Club talking about ain't nobody fucking with him because. What they gonna be gone? Before this. That was before. How long ago done? was that? Nah, How long ago was that? That breakfast was club was recent. recent. When did recent. he go speak to the kids? I thought it was last week. I thought he did, but the breakfast club week. interview was what two weeks ago? Yeah. Or no, no, I'm lying. It was longer than that. It, Maybe it a wasn't month that ago. long. Maybe yeah, a yeah. month ago. There was a couple. Give me a timeline. A, a timeline. Timeline. Oh, year ago to the co the kids last week or so. Okay. The yeah. breakfast club interview was, was maybe a month a ago. It was about a couple. Right. Two, three weeks before that, and then the whole incident was like a year before that. Right, so what I'm saying is that him speaking to the kids, he could potentially address all of those situations and say, hey, you know what, I made a mistake, right? Because that's stuff that has occurred in his past. But since he has spoken to the kids, we have no okay. record of Gucci but, Man doing anything but, silly. But, but, yes, you but, but, do, but, but, because he, it was a month ago where he was no, saying that I'm talking about at, me. I said after he spoke with the kids, not prior to. It doesn't to, matter because kids are going to go find that shit. They're going to be like, They already minute. know the shit, Mike. They, they might not. Ken, okay, after they, he comes and speaks to them, they might go look this up and be like, wait a minute, Gucci told me today that he doesn't do this, but a month ago he was saying he did. So it's like, which no, one Gucci do I Gucci may have to? said, this is what I have done, I don't do this anymore. A month ago. Doesn't oh, matter. Man. If Gucci, if Gucci no, no, went, if Gucci, matter. if Gucci went in, no, what? Doesn't, dog. what? You, you doesn't matter, about, dog. No, like, it doesn't matter. Lower if I, your voice, bro. <laughs> you're yelling, yeah, you're gonna, I'm not. Yeah. It's been a perfectly calm <laughs> conversation. You still, you still, it's not a pretty calm conversation. I have a comment to make. How would you feel, Rod, oh if your daughter, yes. I don't know, you got a kid too, but how would you feel if Gucci Mane came to their school okay. and he said, he filled their heads up with all this shit that he wants people to, the, the kids to perceive him as. And then your kid says, I want to go to a Gucci Mane concert. What will you do? Or I want to get a Gucci Mane album. Right, because he sounds like a he sounds like a cool guy. He sounds like a cool guy. I'll be just telling the truth. Well, Gucci Mane doesn't necessarily make that type of music. Well, why does he? Why is he not the kind of music daddy? But he's such a good guy. I'll, I'll become a parent. So, so, that, so then you're conflicting your child because Gucci Man himself just told your kids that he lives this life, that he wants them to do this, that, and the other. But then you won't let so him. You said he basically lied. He came there and lied. Yes. You know what you're saying? I'll say it. But yeah. I'm, I'm saying, but how you know this dude went there and lied? Yeah. How, I'm not saying because there's no that, that, that's, that's a hypothetical. All, that, I that's very base it, I, all I can do is base it on what I know of exactly. Gucci. That's all any of us can do. So why should I give him the benefit of the doubt? I don't know him. He, so how you don't think he. How many appearances to little kids or. or, or, right. or, or, or or um, so you seriously don't think this guy shit, went to school done? with has a positive done? message? Yeah. I'm sorry? You seriously don't think this dude is capable of talking about a positive message? No. School? Michael Jordan would serve uh, as a positive message for me and my kids. Oh, shit. Got a chronic <laughs> gambling addiction. Right. <laughs> I mean, what, what the fuck? Like, like, people, Jordan, doesn't, killing people. But Jordan doesn't get in trouble for this shit. He got the money for it. He can gamble all he shit, wants. Exactly. Gucci got the money for it, too. And if, 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 if my kid wants to make a bunch of money and gamble, do it. But I don't want you in the street tattooing an ice cream cone on your face and killing people. Right. Nah, um, nah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see what you, I really don't follow what you guys are saying. I don't see how. I don't think. I don't think it's that. Look, here, here's the thing, man. I don't Gucci think it's man. That hard. I, 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 like, at, at least yeah. what, what I'm taking from this. Look, Gucci is still going to be Gucci, and Gucci is still going to right. do a whole bunch of this fucked up shit. Right. Right. Because he he hasn't stopped. He's done fucked up shit. He's gotten in trouble for it. He's done his time and he's back right back to it, right? What kind of. Not what, since I, the speech. 
speech. That was a week ago, Kim. We exactly. Can't, we can't. Yes, so, it does matter. No, no, it does matter. Because Give him time. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Now, hold on. Like, I have what? not really said anything in this conversation. Let me, well, let me let get let my me, shit out. I want to say something, too, after, after you say your shit. Look. As a role model, I, I I have to agree with Mike. I don't want a guy that lives this way and then talks that way, and then he's always that way. That's you see what I'm bullshit. saying? That's not bullshit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why it's some why, bullshit. Why is it That's some not bullshit. bullshit. I'm gonna tell you why it's some bullshit. Because like, I grew up around dope dealers, killers mm -hmm. in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. and they always came to us talking about, look, I do this type of stuff. Don't you don't need to do this. This then the third. That's exactly what he's doing in the school. It's the same shit. No, look, no, my dad was a dope dealer. <laughs> Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you're so, like, so, so what? Okay, go keep no, going. No, no, because I, I saw that other side okay. of her life. All right. And I made a decision from an early age. I'm not going that route. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I, I had, I had, um, like my mom told me a lot of things that I wasn't supposed to know at okay. that age. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of knew the game. Like I knew, yo, I can't fuck with this. You know what I'm saying? But that was my father. Okay. And that's different, but he ne he never, outside of making money, he never had those type of conflicts. Or at least he did not bring that to the household where I saw that. He The images that I know of my father outside of what he did to make money were positive. Okay. So you but you he still knew he did but it, he say, But he's saying he wasn't flaunting it in his face the exactly. way Gucci is. Exactly. No, and, and, to, and to your point, Rod, the reason it's not some, some bullshit is because, yeah, fine, you grew up around drug dealers and they told you don't do this. That worked for you, Rod. That doesn't work for everybody. Right. Some right. kid will see that, and even though he's saying, yes, I deal drugs, I kill people, but you shouldn't do this, they're going to be like, well, fuck that. What you're doing got you that ride. What you did got That's you the respect in the street. The I'm doing what you did no matter what the fuck you said. But all so I'm it's saying, not it some somebody. bullshit. All it I'm helps somebody, it helps but it fucked somebody else. Okay, but, but, but if, if nobody's talking about it, that can fuck people up too. Right. Because man. now you left, left think, coming up with your own idea. You know what? You know what? What we need is, is, is a different type of role model coming to the school and speaking. I don't need Gucci. So you don't think That's would you it. feel some type of way with Jay-Z? Jay no, I'd be fine with Jay-Z coming 50 to speak to... I'd be fine with 50, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't be fine with 50. I take that back. I wouldn't be fine with 50. I don't know if I'd be fine with T.I. either. That's because crazy. because like, why is that crazy, Rob? Why you don't want people that's actually in the game and who can speak from the spirit? Because they sound like hypocrites. I don't need. I don't, them want, doing I don't that. want some somebody. I'm not gonna relate to somebody that, that I don't think is that's doing that's not doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm like this dude. Don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This is boring. But if I and see you, somebody, you, like but a you're gonna say, oh, but this guy's coming here and he raps about killing people. And, and but he then tells if he don't do it, so therefore I'm So you rather have you? So you rather have Ti come to your to your school to talk to your daughter versus a doctor? No, I'm not saying that. No, come on. Now, I'm not saying okay. that. But that's not what you're saying, though, Rob. Right. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't relate right. to that person. No. That's what you said. No, I'm, I'm just saying that's from a different perspective. That's a doctor. The doctor's going to talk about what he knows about, right? Right. So that's fine. That's perfectly perfectly fine. A rapper's going to talk about what he knows about. A killer's going to talk about what he knows about. So I'm, I'm fine with that person talking about what they know about. No, I don't want a doctor coming telling me, no, you shouldn't listen to rap music and all that. I want a rapper to come tell me that. That's not what I was saying, Rod. No, I'm just asking his question. No, but I'm saying you shot down what I said. I said I would rather a different type of role model come speak to my kids. And, and, you, said, and you said, yeah. I don't want, I don't, I wouldn't want that because I don't, I can't relate to that person. Listen, that's you, what you, you said. You misunderstood what I said. I was I, saying I, that I don't want. I think that's why I'm asking you to clarify it. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that. Basically everything I just said, I want I don't want a doctor coming telling me about a killer. I don't want unless unless he's you know or you know what but I'm nobody saying. Nobody was wanna, saying that, Rod. I'm they, just They can't God, escape God. the reality of a fifty cent or a Gucci man, period. Period. Of course. But not. at at the end of the day, they're still listening, they still know what's going on, they're still gonna sure. watch the videos. So if Gucci Man is going if Gucci hey. Man or Fifty Cent or plug in whoever you wanna say, you wanna go in there and say, hey, this is the but this you know what? But that goes beyond that because that school should not allow that type of a Gucci man. Like there's there's certain it's there's certain. No, dog. no, it's, not. Yeah, no it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Look, it's look, the same look, thing because look. parenting and schooling sometimes it's the they same go thing. hand in fucking exactly. hand. Exactly. You 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 have to look, man. To raise a child, it it, it, it takes a tribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it it takes a tribe. It takes the school. It takes the principal. It takes the right teacher. It it, it, it 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 takes the parent. It takes the the friends. It takes it takes the parents that of those friends. Yo, it takes everybody to raise a kid the right way. And as as the, and as the responsibility of that school, <laughs> and as the responsibility of that school, it is up to them to bring in role models that have a positive message. It's and also, wait, wait, what do you mean? Gucci wait. is a role model. 
I'm, I'm asking. You about to shoot no. your point down, kid. Exactly. You might want to evaluate Look, that one, bro. To bring in role models that kids down. should be like and emulate. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't hip hop artists that shouldn't be there. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying this kind of all of hip hop. No. There are great role models in hip hop. Definitely. What I'm saying is Gucci is not one of them. Right. I don't want. I don't. I don't. I don't. Well, I don't necessarily. But an ex-con isn't a role model either. It Who? An ex-con isn't a role model either. No, I understand that. But but, 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 but that serves a di but, but that serves a different so purpose. He and it depends be. on how he's living at the same time because he's exactly. incarcerated now. He he he's not up to the same stuff. He's doing time. Or so he, if you did what he did, time. now you're gonna be in here for 75 years, bro, but for your whole life. All I'm saying is that's not a role model though. I'm not, and I'm not saying that. I'm not school, calling that person a role model. Portraying him as a role model by bringing him in and speaking to him. The school's bringing in fucking real life experience. The fact of the matter is, Gucci is so, a so, celebrity, so, so, man. So, so, so what type, man, what type of real life experience, <laughs> experience is Gucci talking about, bro? His life that he lived. <laughs> and what does that entail? What does that entail? What does that entail? You trying to tell me that shit? What does that entail? Why you not answering the question? No, no, no. Are you trying? Are you trying to tell me that that shit is? So calm down. Are you trying to tell me that shit is not reality? Are you trying to tell me that what Gucci has done is not reality Look, and that in their that's lifetime... That's his reality. But what I'm, asking his reality. Is that, what I'm asking you is that with Gucci coming into school or without Gucci coming into school, mm -hmm. Is there a way for them not to be exposed what's the, to that? What's the difference of, of, of the school going getting a local dope boy to come in and talk to these kids? Nobody what's the difference? Up to a local dope why, boy not? why not? Why not? I did. Why not? No, exactly. Why not? No, no, no. He's not saying... No, 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 no. I, I see. I that's see where he's no, going. I see and what he's saying, and, and Gucci, I think you're, you're digging a hole that's not going to really... You're not going to get out of. Gucci. You should really think before you, before you go... This because you're talking real-life experience. I, you know, honestly, think to hear it. Gucci's story, I'd rather talk to a local dope boy to figure out what he's doing. Because think Gucci is so yep. far removed from that. He just has the paper. He's he's like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, go, you go, go handle this. this. Exactly. And then, you know, it's Gucci did it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a different life, Jeezy. bro. Look at the Jeezy and Gucci situation. They, they wasn't doing it. They had their goons go do it. It, it, is, it, it is the responsibility of the parents. We and I understand. Wait, parent, hold on. But. And I understand that sometimes the parents aren't there. But when the parents aren't there and the kid is at school, Coogee Man should be coming to that school. And, but and, 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 and the kids are talking to the fucking local drug dealer, dog. And, and, but, and but, I'm not saying that. I will. Oh, think okay. about it. Think about this. If you're talking about an urban community, a lot of times, anyone that grew up in an urban community can, can answer this question. Who were you looking up to when you were in that urban, poor, Niggas broke down had community? money. Exactly. Who had the money? Thank you. So and those were your role models. Chicago. Your role models were pimps and drug dealers and gangbangers. When you're that poor, you weren't looking up to Bill Cosby. You were exactly. looking up to Easy e 